polar lands. The concept is to apply the declarative knowledge of the polar caps and the habitants to create a collaged artwork using mixed media, the elements of art, shape, texture and colour, and the principles of art, emphasis and variety. Ends of the Earth The polar lands are found at the opposite ends of the world, in the far north and south around the poles. They are the coldest and windiest places on Earth. Frozen Landscapes It is so cold in the polar regions that the land and sea stay frozen for most of the year. Polar animals need to be very tough in order to survive these conditions. Arctic The Arctic surrounds the North Pole. It is made up of the Arctic Ocean and the treeless land around it called the Tundra. Antarctica The Antarctic surrounds the South Pole. It is made up of a continent called Antarctica and the Southern Ocean around it. Where are the North and South Poles? What is the relationship between the North and the South Poles? Where are the North and South Poles? The Poles are the points farthest north and farthest south on Earth. Take a minute and discuss with your shoulder partner the relationships between the North and the South Poles now. Tundra in bloom. The tundra is a cold plain that is covered with snow in the winter. When the snow melts in the summer, the tundra comes alive with flowers and animals. Adaptable animals. Animals that spend the winter in polar lands are specially adapted to survive in freezing temperatures. Many also have white coats so that they cannot be spotted in snowy landscapes. The ptarmigan has different coloured feathers during winter compared to spring and summer. Turn to your shoulder partner. Explain why the ptarmigan changes colours during these seasons. Also, try and think of other animals that change colour during season and explain why they do this. King of the ice is the polar bear. The polar bear is the largest and most powerful hunter on the land of the Arctic. Polar bears roam alone over long distances each day in search of seals to eat. They also catch fish with their sharp claws. They spend most of their time on ice floats. They are excellent swimmers and can spend many hours in the freezing water. Oily fur and the layer of rubber keep these bears warm. Crowds of penguins Penguins live in the coastal areas of the Antarctic. 
These birds cannot fly, but they use their wings to glide underwater as they chase their food. Inuit people. The Inuit people live in the North America and Greenland. Traditionally, they traveled in family groups and survived by fishing and hunting. Today, many Inuit people live in towns. Imagine if you lived inside an icebox. When Inuit people are on hunting trips, they build igloos as temporary homes. Although they are made of ice and loose snow, igloos are cozy and warm inside. Okay, boys and girls, this is part one of a multimedia project that we're going to do. Initially, what we need is a piece of white paper and a disc to trace around. When you trace around that disc, you're going to cut it out and you're going to end up with a white circle. What I'm going to demonstrate to you is how you're going to create your own six pointed snowflake. In real life, snowflakes are all individual, just like our fingerprints, and they all have six points, not four or eight, but six. Now, how you create your six pointed snowflake is first you fold your circle in half to create this new shape. This new shape is a semicircle. OK, so now you've got a semicircle. Now, what you need to do now is fold it into three sections so that when you unfold it, you will eventually have a six pointed snowflake. How you do that is you fold. Just imagine where the center is. Fold it across and then fold it in again, okay? Press it down. And what you've got is like a pizza slice, okay? Now with a pencil, draw a design. Don't draw a design right across your snowflake, okay? Because that will just cut it into big sections and it, when you unfold it, it'll just come away in pieces. I'm going to draw some zigzags going down here, okay? I'm gonna do the same here. Do some zigzags here, and I'm going to draw some zigzags up here. Okay, and I'm going to do big V here. All right, and then I'm going to get my scissors, my scissors, and I'm going to cut my design. All right, I'm going to just cut those lines that I drew. Everything that we cut away, we don't need. That can go into the recycling box. And this, boys and girls, is really just your background. It's going to be a large snowflake that's going to be behind your main project. But because it's such a large snowflake that we've got, what I'm going to teach you is about emphasis. So we're going to be using emphasis, and your snowflake is going to be one of the articles that we use in your art project. And then you're going to learn how to create a collaged penguin using mixed media. OK, so I'm nearly done. Pop those away and just push that away. We don't need all that there. And I'm going to open him up and see what we've got. And there we are. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, a six pointed snowflake. And it's a pattern. Okay, and again, that's another principle of our patterns. You're going to have a dark piece of uh, support paper. You're going to come up to the work table as well. There are rollers there with white tempera paint and you're going to roller to create sort of like a snowy flake sort of um, d design and then paste on your snowflake. So with this one, I'm going to do that and it can go off the page slightly if you wish. And I'm going to be um, demonstrating to you once you've made this, how you're going to make your penguin collage. So for now, boys and girls, Let's make our background and let's make our six pointed star, star snowflake. Okay, boys and girls, let's go make some art.
Okay, boys and girls, now you've all had a chance to observe the examples of the snowflakes that I've left on every table. Remember, every snowflake has six points. And you've also had the opportunity to create your own snowflake now, okay? So now you've printed your background, you've made your snowflake, that's part of your project. Now this is part two where you're going to make a collage of a penguin. Now we've learned a little bit about the polar lands, the north and the south poles, the Arctic and Antarctica. Now I'm going to pop these little guys off to the side, okay? Now if you observe my little penguin here, he's actually made of mixed media. So even though we've done the background in paint, we've got a collage in paper, but also of felt fabric. There we are. And he's got yarn for his little earmuffs, okay? And so you're going to create something of your own, your unique little penguin keeping warm. Now you've got your background. You've got your snowflake. Now what you need now is a piece of black paper. Okay, I'm gonna lift this one out of the way so we can see clearly. Piece of black paper. And with a pencil, just draw up a great big, sort of like dome, round and round. Okay, I'm just gonna go round that again. I'm gonna cut that out. And when I cut that shape out, you should end up with a shape like that. And this is your penguin body, okay? Now you need to then get a piece of white paper. And if you look at the size, this is how I did mine. I looked at the size of my black and I did a little dash, a little dash. I kind of made a little mark just about here. So now I know that I need to bring up where my dashes are up to where that mark is, bring it round, and I'm basically mimicking that same shape that I did for the body. And I'm going to cut that out. And this is going to be the penguin's belly. So you're going to see now how I did this, or how it works. Okay, I'm just going to go around and cut. I'm not gluing anything down yet, I'm just making sure that everything works. And then I cut a little piece off the side like that, a little piece off the side like that. So I've got this rectangle. I'm going to fold my rectangle in half and I'm going to draw two mini sized dots. It looks like a big thumb actually. Do you see that? I'm going to still keep it folded and I'm going to cut it. So when I have it folded, and I'm cutting it, I end up with actually two identical shapes. Okay, this is a little bit of symmetry now. I go one, two, do you see? Now I've got scraps of paper, so imagine I've already cut this out and I've had a scrap left over. So if I had to cut this out, well actually I'll do this now, so that you can see that the remnants, so everything that we've got we're going to be using So I'm taking my remnant, I'm going to just cut the little bits off so I end up same thing as the eyes that I just did in white. I'm just going to fold it, I'm going to draw a circle, I've drawn a circle, I don't know if you can see that, if I just tilt it so you can see by the sunlight and it hits that lead pencil it makes it shine. I'm going to go round and what I'm doing again is I'm creating two circles by keeping that paper folded, two identical circles that match and lo and behold, there we are, I've got penguin eyes. Now you can go to the collage box and get colours out. I went to my collage box and I'm going to just get a piece of red and I'm going to make a triangle and make that his nose. Okay, so now we're starting to get somewhere. I'm going to go to my collage box again. I'm going to get some yellow paper and just need a little bit. You see there, I just need a little bit. I'm going to fold it in half again and I'm going to cut, or actually I'll draw for you first so that you can see. I'm going to draw a bit like a trapezoid, you see? Cut that trapezoid there and there. OK. 
okay but what I'm going to do where it's folded I'm going to cut zigzags and cut V's out of it and continue to cut and then I've got two penguin feet and you can see there okay let me get rid of these scraps we don't need these here two penguin feet there we go again I'm going to need scraps of paper and you can go to the collage box and find paper to do him standing on an iceberg okay or standing you know maybe on the back of a whale or something it's your collage you make you make it up and then go to the scrap box where I've got felt and this is felt soft fun bright colors okay and then come up with a, a solution as to how you're going to bundle up your penguin now this is gorgeous I'm going to take a strip of this I'm going to cut a strip off okay not too th too wide maybe you have to think of proportion okay I'm just going to make sure that I've got everything remember what I'm doing here boys and girls I'm not gluing anything down yet I'm making sure I'm building my collage up first okay there we are and I want a scarf for him so I'm going to put the scarf around his neck like that I'm just going to make sure that it fits there we are and then a the little bit that I've cut off I'm going to fray it so I'm going to just fringe it and stick that down now with the felt you're going to need to use white glue and with the paper you use the glue sticks okay so there he's, little, he's got his little scarf and remember what you're doing is you're dressing up your penguin make him cute make him warm okay and nice and cuddly and you're going to combine these two projects so you've got your six point star and your penguin on an ice float or as I said you come up with your design remember we've learnt about the Arctic and Antarctica and apply that declarative knowledge now and create your own collage using mixed media now it's your turn boys and girls let's go and make some art if you need any help please refer to the um, PowerPoint presentation and I'll put up all the demonstration videos for you and raise your hand and I can help you too there you go boys and girls let's make some art now